Welcome to Lawton Industries Incorporated, home of the unique line of patented safety and maintenance specialty tools for the petrochemical and other related industries. First, let's introduce you to the entire line of Lawton tools. The Angle Worm Bleeder Cleaner, the Porta Probe, and the Clear View. This video will acquaint you with the standard variations of our tools, their construction, proper field applications, and include our recommended operating procedures. All of the Lawton tools are constructed of type 304 stainless steel throughout, and each has a built-in safety blowout stop, which prevents a blowout of the tool's internals. The angle worm tool allows clogged bleeder valves, drain valves, or pressure taps to be cleared safely at temperatures up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit and pressures up to 600 PSI without shutting down operations. The angle worm safety tool substantially reduces the possibility of personnel injury or property damage. Note, reach is defined as the distance in inches that the cutter extends beyond the tool connection point. This is the Angle Worm Bleeder Cleaner Model 3400, which has a 90 degree turn configuration to allow operation in confined areas. It has a 7 inch reach with a 3 8 inch diameter cutter and connects with a 1 half inch pipe thread and can be adapted to larger valves. This is the Model 3400L Bleeder Cleaner, which is of the same configuration as the previous tool, with the exception of the extended reach from 7 inches to 12 inches. Next is the Model 3450 Bleeder Cleaner. It has a 3 8 inch diameter cutter and a 7 inch reach with a 1 half inch pipe thread connection. As you can see, the only difference is that this tool is of a straight configuration with a non-flexible shaft. This is the Model 3450L Bleeder Cleaner tool. It is the same as the previous Bleeder Cleaner with an additional reach to 12 inches. The 2500 series of bleeder cleaner tools are very similar to the 3400 series with the only exception being that the shafts and cutters are one quarter inch in diameter. The same assembly and testing procedures apply to all tools. First in the 2500 series is the model 2500 angle worm bleeder cleaner. It is a 90 degree turn configuration tool with a seven inch reach with a one half inch pipe thread connection and a 9 32 inch diameter cutter attachment. The 2500L bleeder cleaner is an extended version of the 2500 tool. This tool has a reach of 12 inches. Next is the model 2550 bleeder cleaner. This tool is of a straight configuration with a non-flexible shaft. All other specifications are the same. The last in the 2500 series is the 2550L bleeder cleaner, which is also a straight type configuration with an extended reach to 12 inches. All other specifications are the same as the previous tools. Step one, before introducing your tool into service, check to be sure that the service pressure does not exceed that of the gauge on the tool. Also check to see which type of packing is in your tool and if it is compatible with the service you are working on. Step two, check the threads on the bleeder valve to be opened. Clean and re-tap as necessary to ensure a good connection to the angle worm bleeder cleaner. Step three, make sure pressure bleed off valve on the angle worm is closed. Step four, attach angle worm to bleeder valve to be cleaned. The stainless steel fitting on the angle worm will act as a union. These parts need not be completely separated. Remember, do not over tighten the union nut as it may permanently damage the fitting. Step five. Next, open bleeder valve on process line to a full open position. Step six. Push in on the angle worm T handle while rotating in a clockwise direction only. In most cases, one attempt will be sufficient to clear the clogged bleeder valve. Although in some hard, dry substances, it may be helpful to withdraw the cutter, close the bleeder valve, and disconnect the angle worm. Clean out any cuttings and repeat the operation from step number three. Step seven. After plug is cut out, withdraw the cutter, close bleeder valve on process line, and bleed off pressure on angle worm through provided valve. After use, 
Clean angleworm thoroughly with a suitable solvent or cleaner. If used in acid or caustic, flush thoroughly with water. If operating pressure allows, a steam or other suitable purge can be added to the clearing operation through the provided pressure bleed-off valve on your angle worm. Important, the T-handle on this tool is designed to turn in a clockwise direction only. A clockwise direction should be maintained both inserting and withdrawing cutter. Do not use wrenches or other tools to gain leverage on your angle worm while attempting to cut through difficult material. The Lawton Porta Probe allows engineers, instrumentation, and process personnel to rapidly and efficiently run simultaneous pressure and temperature surveys on any equipment that has bleeder valves, drain valves, pressure taps, or flow orifices. The Porta Probe is an invaluable tool for refineries and chemical plants, research and development, or experimental process systems. The Model K2100 Porta Probe comes complete with a Type K readout which includes a 9-volt battery, stainless steel locking handle ball valve, stainless steel 300 PSI gauge, 3 8 inch diameter cutter, type 1 packing, and carrying case. The Porta Probe allows a clogged bleeder valve, drain valve, or pressure tap to be cleared safely and efficiently at temperatures of up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit and pressures of up to 1,000 PSI, depending on the gauge of the tool, and in most all services without shutting down operations. The Porta Probe also allows you to turn any bleeder valve, pressure tap, or drain valve into a temporary thermo well to troubleshoot problems in a system and can be left in service for extended periods. This allows process monitoring to pinpoint a problem which can then be corrected when a shutdown is scheduled. Step one. Before introducing your tool into service, check to be sure that the service pressure does not exceed that of the gauge on the tool. Also check to see which type of packing is in your tool and if it is compatible with the service you are working on. Step 2. Check the threads on the bleeder valve to be opened. Clean and re-tap as necessary to ensure a good connection to the Porta Probe. Step 3. Make sure pressure bleed-off valve on Porta Probe is closed. Step 4. Attach Porta Probe to desired valve for insertion. The stainless steel fitting on the Porta Probe will act as a union. These parts need not be completely separated. Do not over tighten the union nut as it may permanently damage the fitting. Step 5. Next, open valve on process line to a full open position. Step 6. Push in on Porta Probe T handle while rotating in a clockwise direction. If valve is plugged, this will clear it. If valve is plugged with hard, dry substances, it may be helpful to withdraw the cutter, close the valve, and disconnect the Porta Probe. Clean out any cuttings and repeat the operation from step number three. Step seven, with valve on process line full open, insert rod by using the handle to desired position. Remove the Allen wrench from the ball valve handle cover and tighten the Allen set screw located in the packing gland nut. This locks the shaft in place while you take your readings. Plug in the digital readout to the T-handle and turn on the instrument. The temperature will be displayed in either Fahrenheit or centigrade. Step 8. After obtaining readings of pressure and or temperature, retract probe to its fully retracted position. Step 9. Close line valve. Step 10, open bleeder valve on side of Porta Probe body to vent pressure out of the Porta Probe. Step 11, disconnect Porta Probe from line valve. After use, clean thoroughly with a suitable solvent or cleaner. If used in acid or caustic, flush thoroughly with water. Do not use wrenches on tools to gain leverage on Porta Probe. The Lawton Clearview Sight Glass Cleaner Model 3475CV is also a safety tool. It is made entirely of type 304 stainless steel throughout and is easily connected by a one half inch male pipe thread. The Clearview can be extended up to six feet in reach for use on multiple sight glasses and comes standard with a 300 PSI all stainless steel gauge and a one-way ratchet handle. 
This tool, as with all Lawton tools, is hydro tested to 1500 PSI. All Clearview tools come completely assembled with one 14 inch extension and one extra brush. Step one, before introducing your tool into service, check to be sure that the service pressure does not exceed that of the gauge on the tool. Also check to see which type of packing is in your tool and if it is compatible with the service you are working on. Step two, check threads on bleeder valve to be opened. Clean and re-tap as necessary to ensure a good connection between the sight glass and cleaner body. Step three, make sure pressure bleed off valve on clear view is closed. Step four, attach tool to either end of sight glass or valve at the end of sight glass. If sight glass has plugged ends in place of valves, the sight glass must be blocked in at vessel while clear view is being attached or removed from sight glass. Step five, next, open valve or valves between sight glass and clear view to a full open position. Step six, push in on ratchet handle while rotating in a clockwise direction to clean sight glass. Step seven, after cleaning, withdraw brush to full retracted position, close valve or valves between sight glass and tool and bleed off pressure on tool through provided valve. After use, clean brush and tool shaft thoroughly with a suitable solvent or cleaner. If used in acid or caustic, flush thoroughly with water. If operating pressure and process material allow, a steam or other suitable purge can be added to the cleaning operation through the provided pressure bleed off valve on the clear view. You have now been introduced to the full line of Lawton tools and their operating procedures. Before concluding this video, we call your attention to the following notes. Reach is defined as the distance in inches that the cutter extends beyond the tool connection. We recommend using some suitable anti-seize compound on the connecting threads. All tools assembled as of January 1993 have an identification tag stating the model number, type of packing, and maximum temperature range of the packing. Type 1 packing has a maximum temperature of 700 degrees Fahrenheit and can be used in most services except acid or caustic. Type 2 packing is Teflon and has a maximum temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit and can be used in most acid and caustic services. All Lawton tools can be used safely without the possibility of injury to personnel or damage to property by following our step-by-step -step operating procedures. For questions concerning any of our safety tools, call Lawton Industries toll-free at 1-800-692-2600.